Now, your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you. Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A new frustration for getting around Metro Detroit. Part of I-75 overhauled just last year is shutting down for repairs. MDOT says the guardrail and pavement are sinking on a section of the southbound lanes between South Boulevard and Adams. A one lane closure is expected to begin tonight at 8. MDOT hopes the work is done by Sunday evening. Michigan U.S. Senate candidate John James is apologizing for showing a swastika on his recent TV ad. The symbol was spotted on a bulletin board in a video clip of a school hallway there. The Republican says it came from stock footage. James says his team should have caught that before it aired. A rare illness similar to polio is under investigation by state health officials. An adult in central lower Michigan is being tested for acute flaccid myelitis or AFM. At this point, there are no confirmed cases of the virus in the state. AFM is a serious condition that typically affects the spinal cord in children. Nearly 90 possible cases have been reported in 26 states this year. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with your forecast. Cold, cold, cold and more cold. Look at the lows in the morning here. 31 in Novi, 32 in Canton, 28 in Chelsea, 31 in Port Huron, 30 in Lapeer. You get the idea. It's a freeze warning tonight all the way until 8 o'clock in the morning. First time that the temperature is so cold actually could kill the plants. Make sure you're ready for it in the morning as well. And the kids are bundled up to go off to the bus stop. 33 in Detroit, one of the very warmest spots around overnight. But again, most spots between 28 and 32 with the freeze warning in place. It's a cold start and then there's a cold breeze blowing. There's a little sunshine tomorrow, but it's a chilly 54. All right, Dave, thank you. UPS, meantime, is revving up for the holiday season with a one-day hiring blitz this Friday. The company expects to add 100,000 seasonal workers this year. 40,000 of the positions could be filled on Friday. There are full and part-time jobs from package handlers to drivers. We have a list of the locations for the job fair sites in Metro Detroit on our website, WXYZ.com. Those are your headlines. Remember to go to our website, WXYZ.com, and our app for news anytime. Have a great day. These have been your latest headlines and seven first alert forecast from 7 Action News. Sponsored by Henry Ford Health System. All for you.